Another fantastic game. We'll go through the motions. Jaden Graydon. <laughs> Gotta give him an A+. Plus. I, mean, I mean, as impressive as he was on Monday Night Football, and he had a more of a signature play with the touchdown pass to Terry McLaurin, he's equally as impressive in this game. And as he said, it looks so effortless. He's so calm, poised. Got four incompletions. Yep. He did have an interception. Big deal. Uh, they they're, they're scoring over thirty points a game. A plus. How many cool. how many passes has he attempted for the year? Uh, yeah, I'll like double check. It. He has let's see, hundred six attempts. So if you throw yeah. one every hundred six, I'm 80, good with it. Eighty seven completions on a hundred six attempts. Meanwhile, Caleb Williams, the same number of completions mm. on hundred forty one attempts. Sixty one point seven percent. Well, yeah, eighty two percent, eighty two point one percent completion yep. percentage. Which I mean, he gets crazy. an A plus plus. I mean, I I don't see how you could grade him anything different. He leads his team to a forty point performance. It's all over once. All right, maybe take one of the pluses off. A plus road win. Uh, the offense is humming on all cylinders at this point. I mean, they're, they've scored eighty points the last two weeks. I mean, right. I mean, how do you not grade him an A both plus? On, both on the road. Yeah, <laughs> and he's a rookie. He's yeah. a rookie. This is his fourth game. Are we yeah. are we seriously Not supposed to be grading him right now? Is that what we're supposed to be yeah, doing? So going it's a branded those, segment, EB. Those motions. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean. A no one's going to give him less than that. It's an A+. Plus. I mean, I don't see. I don't have a problem with any. He's currently the number two fantasy football quarterback. Also, I know that you don't care about fantasy, but. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing to me, but uh, I just know that he, when he is under center, we tend to score points. He yeah. showed time. everything, too. Every time. Mm -hmm. You know, the first two weeks when EB had Cliff Kingsbury on probation, it was a lot of sideways passing. Until really the second half of the second game. Now you're seeing him throw on rollouts, on deep the shots. Run, on the run. Darts. That last pass, the touchdown to Terry McCormick was great, but it was preceded by a really good pass to Luke McCaffrey as well, yeah, great pass. which was a laser. Was that was. the one where he was just like kind of – I thought he was going to score on that. off-platform kind of. It just ripped it yes. over the middle. I mean, that was an unbelievable throw. Um, yeah, I don't know. When I, they do the play action – I don't action, have much to criticize. They do the play action rollout. He's so hard to defend yeah. because you can't just defend him with one guy. Mm-hmm. Because you're getting them with just one guy. Right. Mm -hmm. And on those rollouts, it's usually that outside linebacker, maybe a safety comes I up. Am, I'm telling you, I'm waiting for him, just like Derrick Henry last night. Yeah. But I'm waiting for that 80-yard run because well, it's coming. He doesn't even have a 20-plus yard run yet. Yeah. That's coming, too. He's just mm – -hmm. he literally is just gliding. Yeah. But he's going to get out there one time and see a hole, and he's going to be gone. Now, just to give you the RG3 comparison, I just looked it up. The there first four no games for RG3 – RG3 had thrown for more yards, 1,070, to Jaden Daniels, 897. Now, his completion percentage was only 69% to Jaden's 82.1%. Uh, both of them with one pick. RG3 had more touchdown passes. He had four. <clears throat> RG3 actually had more rushing yards and equally had four touchdowns rushing. So, we have seen this before from RG3. I'm tired of the RG3 comparisons. Yeah. That was 12 years ago. The league was so the world was different. Uh, I'm tired of it. Oh, it's done. Great. Also, he didn't he doesn't have the skill set that oh, this kid has. Great. Couldn't care less about Robert yeah. Griffin the 3rd. Totally mm -hmm. different personalities nothing. and I I'd say arguably fa fairly different. That percent. might as well have happened when the cavemen were roaming the earth. Yeah. Whenever that was. Yeah. However many years ago that was. I think he's answered all the questions oh, about people saying you know, you can't throw over the middle. All they went through was go routes in college. I think all that stuff, it's already in four games, right. he's erased all that. And they're good they're going to run him eight to time eight to ten times per game. Yes. That is and half central of those, to the game plan. Half of those will be designed. Yeah. He's clearly learning. He's uh, he's rolling out now and keeping his eyes downfield. He's sliding when it's appropriate. Yeah. So he's not taking those crunchers, those Johnny Knoxville like hits mm -hmm. that he was taking. Uh, in college and in the first couple of weeks. Looks comfortable in the pocket. He looks where so comfortable. There was that uh, pressure to sack ratio question about him. Yes. So far, so far that yeah. hasn't reared its ugly head. Now, you know, I do the, think the, he wiggled his way out of a sack or two yesterday. For mm -hmm. sure, I thought he was bottled up, but got out of it. So he's going to get sacked. This, hey, but, the, this is the, the, the stat we should never talk about or acknowledge, the quarterback rating stat. Mm -hmm. It's the dumbest stat of all time. <laughs> Kyler Murray had a higher quarterback rating than Jaden yesterday.
Mm-hmm. Well, again, that's he didn't that's have a, a QBR. System. No, QBR is the one you should look at. Yeah. Quarterback rating, they should literally toss it out. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Because that's just based on interceptions, touchdowns. It's like the old school method. Yeah. Touchdowns. Oh. I mean, Jaden had more. Right. Oh, and by the way, he's it, also. It's so, it's so stupid. For all those people who. I know, but Kyler didn't have an interception. Right. But he got sacked four times. Right. I know. I'm saying that that's why that. It's stupid. It is no, it it's is dumb. dumb. It, you can defend dumb. it. It's stupid. Jason, did you yeah. hear Raheem Morris yesterday in his post game presser say stats are for losers? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I heard, I tried to understand him. He's the fastest talker in the in the country. Right. <laughs> Raheem Morris. I could barely understand him, but um, he's correct. That's another Kirky comeback. Well. Thanks. Well, it wasn't on Kirk. It was the the defense scored twice. They didn't even score an offensive oh, I know, touchdown of the game. But he technically had a game winning drive. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Um, by the way, for all the people who are like, Jaden Daniels doesn't throw the ball downfield far enough, 8.5 yards per attempt, tied for third in the league. So those people no. can have it shoved right in their stupid faces. As far faces. as I'm concerned, he's answered all the questions. Yeah. Now, it, it will be interesting because the league will adjust. I don't know what they'll come up with. Right. But uh, we'll see. I mean, Todd Bowles dialed up a, a pretty good defense against us. You know, I would think other teams would. Okay, but that was, again, that. That, was, that was his rookie debut. Yeah. You'll have yeah. a test with Miles some, Garrett this week. There'll be some teams that play them better. Of course. It'll happen. Yeah. But, I mean, Arizona sucked against the run. They allowed six yards of carry yesterday. Yeah. I mean, But all of this worry about who's going to be the number two guy, again, it's kind of by committee. They, those guys could fill roles. And clearly, Cliff Kingsbury can scheme guys open. He, he's shown the yeah, ability he can. to do and, that. And yes. Jaden has the we ability. We tried to tell you that. Jaden has the ability to – Go through his progressions. Right. And I don't know how many times they said, yeah, that was his third read. And Adam night. Peters has found fringe guys to fill in when guys go down, like Eckler. Like Jeremy McDickle steps in, he performs. Yeah, Oz hasn't done much in his career for the most part. Gets an opportunity, performs. I think it was his second best day as a pro for so Oz. Great for him. Yeah, and I think uh, McNichols had more touchdowns than he's had in any other season. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to – You think Ron would have found those guys? I think Ron and his bunch of cronies, so, no. all the Marty's would have found up those somebody guys. He had in Carolina seven years ago. I don't think ago. so. Pretty mm-hmm. sure he's not finding those guys. Let's go to Ben in Silver Spring. Ben, what's up, buddy? What I think is most impressive is you basically just stole my thunder when you're last on the last little discussion is the, the evolution and how he's learning. Look at this. He's starting to slide more now. Mm-hmm. He's like I said, going out of bounds. And even on the interception, at the interview after the game, he acknowledged that. He forced it, maybe a little overconfident by three weeks of no interceptions, and that it was a bad execution. It wasn't a bad read. It wasn't a bad decision. It was a bad execution, and he acknowledged it. And and he he is learning so fast. And the good news is, I think, as the defenses adjust to him, because he's a real quarterback, and as the skins get better offensive linemen, and a true number one receiver. Sorry, Terry. I love you. And things like that. He'll be as they adjust. He'll be able to step back into performing like a stereotypical quarterback who can run, like the Lamars, like the Mahomes, and things like that of the league. Very more impressive, I think, than the, than than the wins and the stats right now is his ability to evolve. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate yeah, he's it, buddy. Thank he's you. He's taking a lot of strides in just four weeks. Again, his Pretty calmness br- under pressure is is just incredible. It's really yeah. incredible. And then he also just he's just so humble. I don't know, man. I'm just not used to it. He might be yeah. per- he might be a perfect. He person. might be perfect. I thought Terry McLaurin was a perfect guy. <laughs> uh-huh. He might be right there with him. Who mistake wasn't singing about Jaden Daniels? Because they were <laughs> no. talking about a not perfect, per- non perfect person. Yeah. He might be a perfect person. You couldn't ask for a better guy to lead your franchise. Now I understand why. Maybe Dave I'm the only one on the plate of cakes. I'm not following the Kuba Stank reference. You've heard I'm not the a song. perfect person. I mean, the uh, biggest hit ever. Everybody the reason, that. The, reason the biggest okay. hit ever. You've heard it. Come on, Jay. I have heard that, but I, don't, <laughs> of I think you've it's heard it. somewhat obscure. I mean, it's very mainstream.